So while the Los Angeles Lakers fans, or should I say the bronze sexuals, are displaying normal, typical behavior, toxic behavior, demanding and calling for everybody in their grandpapa to be traded, including the Lakers announcers, <laughs> nobody's safe, okay? Stu Lance, you're not safe, my boy, okay? Because for some reason in their delusional minds, they truly believe that the Los Angeles Lakers have zero talent on this current Lakers roster. Now, meanwhile, the mainstream sports media at ESPN, Fox News, well, Fox Sports News, etc., they're shifting all the blame to Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis. You know, now they're calling the trade Anthony Davis and, you know, salvage the future. Ramona Shelburne did a report that, you know, and said that the Lakers had an opportunity to trade Russell Westbrook for John Wall and they could also swap picks. And it's being sold this narrative that the Lakers could have taken their picks with picks, so to speak. But once again, John Wall and Russell Westbrook have similar styles. So it defeats the purpose of trading for the same exact problem that you have now. The media is trying their hardest to sway fans' opinions to believe that it's Rob Palenka's fault that the Lakers are losing, that they're currently, you know, riddled with all these injuries and this these issues, right? They act like it's Rob Palenka's fault. However, why are we blaming Rob Palenka when we should be thanking him for delivering us a title, right? And if I'm not mistaken, Rob Palenka asked LeBron James, hey, do you want Buddy Hill or Russell Westbrook? And the rest is history. So they truly believe that the Lakers, that we suck collectively as a group and that the roster really needs improvement when it really does it. Meanwhile, they overlook the talent that's already on the Lakers roster. The Lakers clearly, I mean, clearly have two potential all-stars blossoming right before your very own pupils, people. Okay, Malik Monk. Austin Reeves and Taylor Horton Tucker have been bright spots for the Lakers. Now, the problem is this, that these young talents, you know, these young talented players, talented players aren't being utilized correctly. And LeBron James and the rest of the Laker organization or uh, well, LeBron James is not maximizing their full potential. The Lakers currently have three superstars on the team and Anthony Davis, LeBron James and Russell Westbrook, right? Now, there are the Lakers are currently worse than the record indicates. Obviously, the Lakers really should be 12th in the West. You know, they won a few games, a few close games, and they're losing to teams that they're more competitive with some of the elite teams. And they do 10 times worse versus the trash teams. But honestly, however, let's survey the NBA landscape. The Los Angeles Clippers without their two superstars, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, are for a, they're a phenomenal team, playing phenomenal team basketball right now. Steph Curry without Klay Thompson, this is before Klay Thompson healed and came back. He was able to lead a team full of young players, full of role players, keeping them in the top five seed. The Suns don't have better talent than the Lakers. Other than Giannis Antetokounmpo, you can't name one player on that roster the Milwaukee Bucks I'm speaking of, that is better than the talent that's on the Lakers roster. The Memphis Grizzlies, the only star is Ja Moran. The Dallas Mavericks, their only superstar is Luka Doncic. Luka Donkey, okay? The Utah Jazz, only star, Donovan Mitchell, the Spider, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Okay, and even the Denver Nuggets, Without their second star, Jamal Murray, they have the sixth seed in the West. Now, all these teams are at the top of the West, okay? Full of role players, one star full of role players. They don't have a super team, which leads me to laying out how the Lakers need to fix this roster and how they could turn this around into wins, right? Malik Monk has had a resurgence. He's been shooting the ball, lights out, catching fire, which is common sense. The Lakers must use him and feed him the ball more. I think the Lakers should make a conscious decision to allow Russell Westbrook to be the primary ball handler and initiate the offense. 
This is not black top basketball, people. This is professional basketball at the highest level. This is why Phil Jackson is such a great coach. Greatest of all time. This is why Steve Kerr is one of the greatest of all times. This is why Greg Popovich is one of the greatest coaches of all time. The Lakers have to create more flow within the office. Set up Malik Monk. You know. Set him up to have him coming off a lot of these screens. Coming around a lot of these screens to free up some space. So he can get some space and make some shots. Get some open looks. Austin Reeves, in my honest opinion, is a keeper. It's like he's always making the right play. He's always making the smart play. He draw charges. Make open shots. He knows that, hey, I'm not a knockdown shooter right, right now in my career. I'm still developing. So he sees an open lane, he puts the ball on the floor and finishes at the rim and gets to the line. And once you get to the line, the basket becomes wider and wider and wider. These two players, Malik Monk and Austin Reeves, they understand their roles. And they never do too much and never go outside of those roles. Which is why they could be assets to the team. Potential all-stars. Even Taylor Horton Tucker plays well. Great at his rainbow fadeaway shot. Plays well. Especially when, especially when he's not forcing things. But this is why the Golden State Warriors are able to have two down years. Let Klay Thompson heal. Then reemerge as contenders because they develop their young players through the draft. To take the pressure off of their star players and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. This is why Kaminga, Jordan Poole, Wiggins, and others have become stars in their own right. Because the superstar players elevate them and bring the best out of them. They move the ball, play competitive elite defense, always make the right rotation, defensive switches. But LeBron James at this age, where he's at now, he has to feed the big man. He has to take a step back and not go out there and try to score 30 and score 29 and all these big numbers. He has to feed the big man, Anthony Davis, feed Malik Monk, feed the hot hand. Make the players around you better. LeBron James has to play more in the post. Direct traffic in the post. Pick his spots. Take more mid-range shots. You got the three? Take the three. Focus more on winning these games. But in all honesty, the Lakers didn't need help. They have talent on this current team, despite what you're being led to believe by the media as they're lying to you guys to make you seem like, you know, to try to point the blame at the Lakers front office when things don't go right. But anyway, Malik Monk and Austin Reeves are keepers. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box. Like, shit, subscribe. <laughs> I'm out.